So good morning. It is December 31st, so New Year's Eve here in Kyoto. It's a little not as pretty as it was last night, but it's daytime. It has its own pretty. Behind me you can see some mountains. But today on our list of adventures we are going to be taking the Kyoto bus, which we actually have a daily pass for the bus for 500 yen. We bought it at the hostel we're staying at. And they recommend it. And we are going to the Golden Temple, the Silver Temple. Where else are we going? <laughs> um, possibly Noji Castle. Oh yeah, we're going to the castle, hopefully. And possibly the museum. Oh yeah, the train museum? Uh, no, that's uh, Monday. The um, National Museum. Oh yeah, the National Museum. If you guys didn't notice, Kyoto is actually the old capital of Japan before the capital moved to what was then called Edo, now called Tokyo. I don't exactly remember when that happened, but when we get the date, we will insert here, wherever. But that's on our list today, and we'll see how it goes and what we're going to actually get through and what we might add on to the list later. But let's walk and let's get to the bus station. Onward. Adventure. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, update. Something is up with the bus system. We ended up at the right place where the bus was going to pick us up, but... No. Nah. So we don't know what's going on. At this point, we've kind of given up on the bus. And we are actually walking to the Kyoto Manga Museum. According, was it in the book that we bought? Okay. We bought a book actually at a, some type of store here. I can't remember which one it was exactly. 7-Eleven. Ah, right. It was at a 7-Eleven. And it was like a tour guide to Kyoto. According to that, the Manga Museum is not opened until this coming Thursday. But. We're just going to go walk by it, see what it looks like, and from there we're going to decide what exactly we're going to do. But we're still going to try and get to the castle, Kinkakujin, Ginkakujin, and whatever else we have on the list. But we're just, we're going, and we're going to film today. Look at how pretty that is. Pretty. So, we're off to the Kyoto Manga Museum. If it's not open, Gonna have to make another trip. <laughs> we'll see you on a little bit. Okay, so we have made it to Ni Jojo Castle and it is closed. It seems like everything. Oops. Seems like a lot of things are gonna be closed today. Celebration wise, Kyoto is like one of the top locations apparently to come for New Year's because. Well, all the temples and stuff, but it seems like for touristy things, it's not exactly the greatest, apparently. But, again, it just means another trip. But here is Ni Jojo Castle, and all of its glory that we can see. That corner of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a very traditional castle. Pretty much every castle is going to have this similar setup. So, I guess we'll just walk around the perimeter and go from there. Shall we do that? Yep. Okay, let's go. It's got a moat. It does have a moat. So based on the fact they're renovating part of the castle, um, they have moved the entrance. We're at the new entrance now, but the entrance is uh, closed uh, due to the holiday. But according to the sign, it says it's going to be reopening on the 1st of January, so we should be coming back and hopefully taking a look inside, because it looks like there's a lot of stuff to explore. And a lot of Pokestops for some reason. Yeah. Alright, so we'll be back, we'll back uh, tomorrow. Alright. Peace! Okay, so we have finally made it to King Kakuji. After how many buses? Make Two. Sure, <laughs> make sure you know your buses. Well, we're finally here. It's a little crowded, but we kind of figured it would be slightly crowded for New Year's Eve because of the temple culture here. But we're gonna go inside and look around and y'all are coming with us. Let's go. I know. 
good. Okay. <laughs> so we're up to the temple, almost. If you listen really closely here, you can actually hear the bell ringing. Apparently on New Year's, what they're going to do is ring a bell probably every temple. <laughs> Make times, and apparently it's a Buddhist thing, talking about the 108 earthly desires that we have. So let's go explore some more. <laughs> so we've made it to the Golden Temple, or the Golden Temple, <laughs> and we got our tickets. Kyle doesn't remember having to get tickets in 2008. It might be something new, but the tickets were 400 yen each. So 800 yen for the two of us, which really isn't too bad. I mean, compared to Tokyo Sky Tree, that was 900 yen a ticket. Tower. The right to go tower. Not bad. So it was 900 yen a ticket there versus 400. But if I remember right, King Kaku jeans actually covered in gold pieces. And they did restoration a couple years ago or something like that, I think, to restore it a little bit. I can't remember. But we're here and it is crowded. Honestly, crowds aren't that bad as compared to 2008. Focus. There we go. The Phoenix on top. So. Um, as Keith said, King Kakoji is the Golden Temple, um, as said before, and it is just like I remember in 2008. Um, crowds aren't that bad, honestly, I mean, for the most popular place in Kyoto. Um, ticket thing, as she said, is kind of new for me. We got pamphlets, mm -hmm. and uh, just going to enjoy the sights. Hey. They have a garden. Yes, there is a garden. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, so we'll wander around, we'll get some footage, either pictures or actual video, and we'll just insert them as we go. Let's go look. Silver Temple is not silver, so let's go see it. So we're here at the Silver Temple. Silver Temple. The somewhere the trees. The only thing that's really silver is the phoenix on top of it. So the rest of the building is not silver. Apparently, since Kyle has been here last, they've done a couple updates. I will let him explain. In 2008, it used to be where you could actually one not have to buy tickets to get in, it was actually free, uh, but you could also kind of wander the grounds, which is kind of nice. Uh, now they've set up a lot of barriers and you can't go to certain areas, you have to follow a certain route. I'm going to get a shot at the sun right there. And it's just not as free as it used to be. We found the same thing at King Kakuji where they cut off the staircase. Uh, so it's not as not as enjoyable as it was, but it's still enjoyable. 
We're assuming that they're getting ready for the large number of tourists that will be coming in the next couple of years, especially to the 2020 Olympics. The biggest thing is, while... Yeah, let me grab one of the tickets. Come here. Just give me. Okay, so here are the tickets that you get for the Silver Temple. King Kakugi was 400 yen. This place is 500 yen for the lesser known, not as famous temple. I don't know, it's weird. It's still nice. Um, it's a little packed today, but it's not too bad. But yeah, we'll just keep exploring and insert more pictures. See you in a bit. So we've made it to the top of the route. I'm winded, but I am fairly out of shape. And just all of Kyoto. So, essentially we are at the very top of the route. As Kyle kept saying the entire way up here, we definitely limited a lot of the area that you could walk. It's still really pretty. What do you think of the view? But sunset is really nice. Well, it's not truly sunset, but yeah. Well, it's almost sunset. Yeah. What do you think of the limited route? I don't like it, <laughs> but I mean, I understand it. Um, King Kakuji was a god as crowded as it was in 2008. This place is a whole lot more crowded than it used to be. Do you think 500 yen is worth it? Yes and no. <laughs> I mean, running into that conundrum. Well, I, I mean, yes, because, you know, they need for the energy and all that stuff. No, because my school is free, so, I don't know. Mm. I guess when you've been here for free and then all of a sudden it jumps up like, what, 500%? It is a little bit of a shock, but when Kyle was here last time, they were doing renovation of the building. So I guess to make sure they can still pay for it, because I have no idea how exactly they go about paying for these things. <laughs> I guess it helps with the upkeep, but we're gonna head down. My back is shot. <laughs> but we'll see you guys in the next clip. I think we're gonna go either to the philosopher's path or to the museum. We'll find out. Okay, so it is what time is it? It's about 7 10 almost here, December 31st, the evening of the end of 2016. So right now we're just back at our hostel resting. I need to rest my back just because it hurts. And in a little bit here, I think we're going to run out and try and find some food. The hostel's supposed to be having a soba party. And I'm not feeling up to a party. I don't know how Kyle feels about going to a party. What about you? Well, I mean, I know you don't want to go without me. So the day didn't turn out to be a total bus. After we got to Mijo Castle and the Manga Museum, and they were closed, Kyle actually made a comment well, what if the two temples we want to go to are closed? They weren't closed. It was just interesting paying, again, 400 yen for the Golden Temple. And then 500 yen at the Silver Temple per ticket. It was a little weird. I can understand it's for the upkeep. Fallon, I think it might be capitalizing on the amount of customers that will be coming through within the next few years until 2020 and then that hype dies down. But I um I don't know if it was this way when Kyle was here, but apparently the Silver Temple is now a 
World Heritage Monument. We think that might also have to do something with the price. But we had a good day mm -hmm. so far. And we have all day tomorrow and part of Monday, unless we decide we want to stay an extra day. But we're going to get some food and we'll probably wind it down later. Hopefully we'll make it to midnight, but I didn't sleep too well, so we'll see how that goes. Yep. But if we don't sign off later, Happy New Year. Happy 2017.